So yeah, we'll finish up with uh, just one last question. And I thought your thoughts on this would be uh, useful for everyone. Um, so here we are with our uh, Communities Connecting Heritage project, which we're calling Reclaiming Heritage 2, part two. And um, I'm just curious to, to know how you would characterize the impact that you hope this project will have on the Ratwa communities. What, how is it working to their advantage to participate in this project and what, what do you hope that they achieve from it? Um, I think it will offer them a new uh, one platform. Thing is that of course, uh, they are already the... using WhatsApp and... We can thank Zoom for uh, for the complications of individuals needing to speak and what happens at, when they try to speak at the same time. Sonal, uh, Sonal, you were speaking first, so let's hear from you. And then Sandhya, maybe you can help us uh, cap it off with um, your, your thoughts. Okay, I was just saying that, see, in the Chota Udaipur district, many of the Ratwa community members or smartphones uh, they're already using uh, Facebook and other social media uh, sites as WhatsApp. So uh, while this uh, social movement is already going on, where they are asserting that uh, Ratwa identity, and also they are uh, uh, legally, they are fighting out the case about the Ratwa identity and the scheduled tribe status. But under this project, we feel that uh, this will give provide them with a new platform to assert their identity, to rethink about their uh, culture, uh, the various aspects of their culture, and share it across the community. So while technology is not new to them, the issue is not new to them, connecting the social movement with a new technological platform will, of course, be a new addition and would also help to uh, take the movement forward in uh, different ways. Thank you, Sonal. Uh, Sandhya, what's your feeling about this? My feeling is that this project will help us empower them with being able to communicate better with other tribals and extend the communication by several multiples. Because otherwise, it was only, uh, you know, they would have posters or they would, it would be word of mouth or something like that. But uh, I mean, it is amazing what WhatsApp can do, you know. And if you make small uh, podcasts and send it across, I mean, it can go viral and it can go, I mean, 100 viewers can become like 100,000 within no time at all. So that way, I think the reach is. Uh, phenomenal and it will also encourage others to do things like that to understand how to use these uh, platforms to be able to get what they want to say across we used it very uh, very well um, with the dnt the chara community for creating awareness about covid oh really oh wow so that was just through a whatsapp and sort what of network to do what to do how to look after mm. your doing the podcast that's what gave me the idea for the podcast uh, for this thing. of course i remember that now yeah there's those little episodes uh they were I, i've seen a couple of them and they were they were quite quite excellent think, yeah so we're going to get dakshin to uh, teach our um, adivasi people also how to make them mm -hmm. he's part of the project in that sense and so I think it will filmmaker. be a good, the charas, um, because the way they live, etc., would have been, uh, they would have been a major, uh, you know, issue in COVID because Ahmedabad was at one point of time very badly hit by mm -hmm. COVID and there were lots of deaths. Mm -hmm. In fact, most of our uh, people we know at Chara uh, got it. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, uh, fortunately, they were, had very few um, signs of it or they mm. were asymptomatic mostly. Oh, that's good. But they, yeah. many of them test positive. Uh, fortunately, in India, we got a much uh, less virulent, uh, you know, uh, virulent type of that virus. So not so many I mean, people died, but not so many people died. Not like it's, 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 it's it's going on in the U.S. It's, I know. It's, not it's what's happened here. amazing tragedy here uh, and such a shock to those but, who... But 
also also the thing is that here there is to a large extent you know people are wearing masks they are not going out so much etc i mean of course people do go out not that they don't but i am i'm told that in the us and all that they they're just not able to implement all of that right here right. You know, a fine if you are caught without a mask you have to pay a fine oh wow yeah here um it became immediately politicized Okay, I I think what we've talked about today is just rich and really enticing for learning more about what the Ratwa themselves produce in the in the in the in their videos and and our opportunity is coming to uh, to see uh, through their own voices as we learn Basha itself the word means uh, through their own voices and expression of what they value as part of their cultural heritage. So we're all really excited to see what they produce and to share with you what our, our, our participants are producing too. But I wanna thank you both for taking time, um, this amount of time in your evening to talk with me and, and to create this opportunity for my students to learn more about what's going on over there and put it into context. So um, this has been an amazing opportunity for me too. I've really enjoyed it and learned so much from you as I always do whenever I talk with you. So thank you both for, for joining me and, um, and we'll uh, maybe look for another opportunity to talk again sometime soon. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. I have a lovely day. Yeah. Bye. Have a happy weekend and we'll meet again, Mike. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Sonal. Thank you, Sandhya. Yeah. Bye. Bye.